Hello everybody, this is going to be a rather short video. Uh, I'm going to just go into a, a very easy way to find the G names offset in Unreal Engine games below 4.23 because that's when they change from G name to F name pool. I'll have another video on that, but F name pool is extremely easy to find uh, offset wise usually. Along with um, th along with the normal G names, so the game I'll be using as an example is this game on Steam called Undefeated. It is a free game, so I think it's the perfect game to choose because if you wanted to follow along or try, and I'll be using this game probably a lot more in the future as reference. It's either on 4.18 or 4.16, I can't remember, but either way it works for me. So if you want to get the G name all set. Uh, we're, what you're going to need is you're going to need um, Cheat Engine, and you're going to want Reclass if you want to check it, but you really don't have to, because if you're creating it, if you're doing it in Cheat Engine, you pretty much validated it. But pretty much, if you don't know what GNames is, uh, not going to give a super long explanation, this is supposed to be a little short video, but basically, it's the global names array. It's the array of every name of every object in the game. And it is set up to look something like this. When you find it, it's going to have... The first thing that you want to find would be none, byte property, all of this. This is just a like a small little chunk of what should be involved in it. And you'll understand in a minute. So basically, one of the common names in all UE4 games is a name called multicast delegate property. This name right here. Now, what's good about this is it's not used in a ton of stuff in the game, but it is used pretty much in every single engine version uh, and every single game, unless, of course, the G names is encrypted, in which case you have to figure that out on your own. That's a whole other thing. But to find the static G names uh, address, we're going to copy the name and we're going to go into Cheat Engine. Let's select Undefeated. You want to uh, select String, and for the text, let's just paste it. Alright, we have four results, not bad at all. So we're going to look at the first one. What we want to do is, where we found the multicast delegate property, we want to scroll up. We want to scroll up until we find, basically, these. The none, the byte property, the imp property, the bool pop property, as many as we can. And for this one, if you scroll up, you shouldn't have to go very far, it's a relatively low one. You can tell this is not what we want. This is nothing. So let's look at the second one. Multicast delegate property, let's scroll up a bit. This is, oh, perfect, that was easier than I thought. So, you can see we have none, we have the byte property, we have int property, we pretty much have what we want. Uh, just as another example there, like the third one wouldn't be it then. You can scroll up all you want, you're not going to find it, you shouldn't have to go far. But there, so we know it's the second one. So what you want to do, is you want to find the none. So you scroll up from your multi -delegate, uh, multicast delegate property to none, and what you want to do, as in this can be different for multiple games. It can either be right next to it or it can be far away. You want to find eight blank bytes. And blank bytes are zeros. So right here would be it because it's an entire, you know, it's an eight, uh, it's eight blank zeros. So a lot of people will get confused with this and they will go with this because it is a lot of times in a lot of games it is directly after the none, the set uh, after the none, but for this it isn't. But you're always going to want to get, for any Unreal Engine version below 4.23, you're going to want to get the first uh, the first area of the 8 bytes that are blank. So right here, if you can see. 8 bytes that are blank, you have one right here. Let's get the address, and let's copy it. And I'll write this here just in case we lose it later. Shrink it. Now what you want to do is you want to search that address. You're going to go to New, 8 bytes, Select hex and paste the address. Okay, a lot of people get confused in this area. They see the static address and they think, great, I found the G names. No, you didn't. That is not it. You want the non-static address, and I have that written here. Find the 8 bytes, blah, 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 near the none string. Then search the address of the byte as a hex and do the same with the non-static address. So that was our first address. We searched it and we got this. We want the non-static one. So let's add it here so that we don't lose it. Let's copy the name of it. And if you have multiple non-statics, 
write all the addresses down, and just keep searching until one of them give you a result. This game is very easy, though. So we have the address. Now, let's search the address of this non-static. Alright, we have another result, but it, of course it isn't static yet, and this isn't the one we want. So let's get the address of this, and you're basically back searching. There we go, and if you can see, at the bottom here, we have two static addresses that point directly to what we want. We don't need these anymore. Now, I'm sure someone can correct me. For me, I don't care which one I pick. It doesn't affect me either way. They both work. I'm sure if you do the pointer, uh, the SIG scan, it'll come up with one specifically, but they both usually work. So just pick the one that you want to pick. So for this one, I'm going to pick the first one. And as you can see right here, this is our offset. And we can confirm this if we go into reclass. Let's add the offset to our base address. And actually, you know what? This is usually the one you want. You want the one that has a uh, two pointers. Because this second thing right here, if I search the offset for this, this probably won't have two pointers, right? Yeah, so basically you want two pointers, not one. If I, uh, if I recall correctly. It doesn't matter either way, though, but it's preferred. So let's add this back. And you can confirm this is correct. Let's shift and delete these. Let's create a quick pointer reference here. Another pointer here. We're basically doing the reverse of what the searching we did. Pointer right here. We have our 8 bytes of none. Add 64. There you go. You have your... You have your official G names, offset, or address, whatever one you pick. And as you can see, did all the pointers that we had to do. They're all here. So that's pretty much it.